Hello, it's Mark here. Welcome back to another video of mine. And we're back on the MEP server. And I'm here with JJ. Hi guys. And, and so yeah, basically at the moment, for some reason you're putting snow everywhere. But it's melting, what a, what a shame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm so I'm, I'm gonna blow them up. We filled this up with uh, TNT because you didn't understand how to do it at all. Well, I have this built in my single player world, but okay, I didn't know how to fill the uh, the tunnel system, I guess. Yeah. That was straight up he's there. Just, he's just not it's that smart, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you're trained to be a doctor, but hey. That's eh, fine. <laughs> and then you just get a load of levels. I think that's it. About. Oh, there's a few. There's quite a few up here. Let's oh see. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh damn it! I just suddenly got a lag spike. If Ooh. I am lagging, guys, on my side of the screen, it is because um, I've got my AFK guy open. JDC, Call Duty, and C. If you want to quickly tab mark, they'll see it as well. Oh, my yeah. 30 levels. I need the other bow because mine's an affinity bow, and that would leave an arrow, and that would not be good. I don't think. This one's infinity as well, so do it what is? you want. Do what you want. <laughs> oh, you upgraded it. That's cool. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's been, oh, hmm. Is this good? I'm breaking three efficiency three. A feather falling uh, four. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize <laughs> you'd shot. <laughs> I'm at I'm at two hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How do you manage that, man? Jeez. Eh, who the hell knows? <laughs> oh, jeez. Putting my armor back on. I like this book. I wanted this to is a pretty good something. Book. Efficiency three, feather falling four, and breaking three. I actually, don't have a book. Darn, I was gonna just. I don't need the enchant. <laughs> I was just about to put most of the TNT from here in my in my inner chest. <laughs> oh, I'm stealing from the end. Okay, so sh should we go now? Yeah, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. So basically, guys, this episode we are going to build a squid farm over at my place because I have come up with an ingenious idea. Instead of doing the paper trade, I'm just going to do written books. Seeing as I've got my chicken farm, which gives me a, f a flipping ton of feathers. Oh, um, God. Yeah, and you also, spent, like, so long sorting them. Yeah. <laughs> and my cow farm gives me a load of leather, and, of course, the sugarcane farm. I now have four of them. If you guys on Mark's side, just watch my latest video, and you guys will completely understand what I'm talking about. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I made I made lost 100 lost the sugarcane farms last episode. It's pretty cool looking, and they look pretty cool. They're done with quartz and glass. It looks pretty sweet. And basically, I've got them for the paper. And so all I need now is ink sacks, which are like so annoying to get. Oh it's god, like, yeah. Yeah, with a villager, it's like one on one, so one written book for one emerald instead of 24 paper for one emerald, which is oh so my god, much there we go, perfect. What do you get? I just got a looting three sword. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. So that's gonna be for the wither farm, isn't it? Yeah. I just need to add unbreaking, and it's it's perfect, and it's iron, so it's repairable. Great. I've got an unbreaking sword, um, breaking book. You wanna buy it off me? I probably will. <laughs> you can do it now. I've got it on me, literally. Ugh. I'll just use one of my unbreaking books. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Well, I, okay, fine. <laughs> you like that, man? Jeez. All right, it's over. Okay, so let's make here. a cut. Yep. Go over there. All right, so we're back from doing the squid farm, and we're over here at JJ's perimeter. There's the witch farm over there, and as you can see, it's a bunch of flat ground, a bunch of signs. You can explain what we're doing next. Yeah. So basically, if you guys can see right in the top right of uh, of my screen, at least, and just behind Mark, um, you can see. Crosshairs on my screen. My yeah, my uh, guy over there, my FK guy, and basically I'm gonna flick over to that now, which is why I can't keep it on F4 unfortunately, and I'm gonna break the sign. Ooh, and there it all goes. And the lag, the, the lag. I'm getting, a, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of lag. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> that was awesome. It, screenshot, and just that one. This. It's worth yeah. it. Oh, that was awesome. That was really fun. And now we have a bunch of floating sheep and whatnot. And there's a bunch of signs absolutely everywhere. Oh no, they're all along the Oh side. god, the entities. Oh the shoot, entities I just did something right? bad. I just did something horrible. <laughs> no, I really did. Yeah? Uh, Where did that go? 
Okay, we're gonna have to collect all these signs now. Because yeah, yeah. I love I'm gonna signs. have to get my sword because I dropped it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna make a cut and we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. see you back in a second. Okay, guys, we're back, and yeah, we found a pretty prime location to build a squid farm. Yeah, there's a lot of chunk errors, but it's pretty much a uh, desert and a plains kind of area. There's a few little pools, but if they're in the way... Yeah, and also I just realized that there's a savanna really close to my place. Yeah, yeah is, this is a nice little... Yeah, I'll have to... It, you could come back and forth here, and maybe horses will spawn. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. I need to get a horse again. I used to have a horse, but it, I lost it in the nether with diamond horse armor. Yeah. <laughs> it was on a leash, and someone untagged it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to dig a hole, and we'll, yeah. we'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, yeah. Quick thing, um, it has to be below 63. That's why we're building it right here. We're building so, it underneath yeah. the finger. Yeah, I keep calling it this the finger, because it kind of it looks like a finger. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll dig a hole, um, 9 by 9 by 9, big cube, and be back. Okay, guys, we're back, and yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, killer. So yeah, we dug a nine by nine by nine hole. Actually, it's nine by nine by ten because the first layer is can't actually spawn squid. We and then we got There's a channel here, house. which is gonna do something. That's gonna yeah, probably have the, the hopper or not. And yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, now we need to fill it with signs and water. Yeah. Basically, they're gonna drop from the top and into a stream, and eventually end up on top of a hopper, and they're gonna drown in the air. Yeah. Which sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna drown with so much oxygen around them. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to give me some signs, then I can do it as well. So uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna make it some of my ender chest. Oh wait, you can't access my ender chest. <laughs> oh, I was totally gonna. If I could go in your ender chest, I'd be rich. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, place down water like that. Place some signs, and yeah, that, that's then the next step is ice. Easy. So yeah, let's do this. Yep, and we'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we finished down below. Basically, kind of like a mob farm. We got the water going into the stream, and they go into the hopper, and then we place the ice. Um, the idea being, they swim to like the edge, and they die, and when they fall. <laughs> yeah. So now all we have to do is the fun part with an efficiency 5 pickaxe just breaking all these fun blocks uh, oh I don't oh, I don't have my good helmet on <laughs> might actually take a little bit oh damn it yeah wait I'm actually gonna get I've got two do you want one? that's okay what did you say it was like half a stack of blocks? ooh I'm gonna drown although it's one and a half <laughs> stacks yeah wasn't that much ice I'm uh, gonna shove mine on anyway it's super effective nonetheless I think there's a myth that uh, squids actually sink, but they don't. Yeah. They and, just don't uh, swim up. Oh, yeah, leave one block and swim up and I'll break it and you can like get the view of this whole thing updating. Okay. That should be a little, a little oh, fun. Damn it. I was so close. Just just wait a second. Let me get up. <laughs> You're weird without that. Okay. Never Good. Uh, wait a sec. I'm gonna F1 this. Go. Drowning. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that looks awesome. That, that looks, looks awesome. And yeah, okay. like like what I'm doing right now, um, I'm swimming basically to the side. And this is the squids are gonna do, and then they're gonna get pushed down. And yeah, on so this stream, and they're gonna end up here in the air and die. So pretty straightforward stuff. But yep. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Try and they go along here, and then they go along here. That should all be fine. Let's end the pull through the water because that's fun. <laughs> oh, that works it, totally did it work? Well. It actually did work. <laughs> Got me out. Okay, yeah. so do we need to make another cut or is this kind of it? Uh, this is done. I mean, this is a really simple project. It would have took like a few minutes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so basically, I'm probably going to scout out like a hundred. What is it? 128 block radius? Yeah, yeah, we're just going to. Get all the water and just fill yeah, it in. It I've be got cool. seven stacks of dirt, so we should be okay. Yeah. Alright, so. Okay, yeah. yeah, we'll see you guys in a second. 
Okay guys, I'm back, and yeah, that was a lot of fun, got the squid farm going. Actually getting quite a lot of um, squid drops from just around the place, 16 in sacks at the moment. Just done a whole lot more trading with um, books, I like to call them emeralds, uh, pretty pretty cool. So uh, yeah, what have I done? I have I put a whole long line of these here because it's just so much more helpful. Um, this is now, well let me show you up here, basically we shove everything in here, this is hidden away now, and I go down here and basically it's a sorting system as well, deep storage sorting system which is a lot better, sugarcane, gravel in here, I got feathers up to who knows where, um, I think up to, is that the last chest? No, we got some odd ones up here, a lot of cobble, so we'll be we can just take out the bottom chest and fortunately it's not one of those systems that takes out of this one and then goes down into this one that would be cool if we could somehow do it like this because you have to space them out between each other and it's, I just find it kind of annoying unfortunately but um, yeah and then we got all our dirt which goes up quite a way as well yeah. so uh, that's basically it guys uh, for this part here at least and other than that I have the sugarcane farms uh, did you guys see that I had four of them? I cannot remember at all. Um, a really awesome thing. I'm actually recording whilst my guy is AFKing over here. My uh, camera account, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm Yes, stable 60 FPS. He's just basically in this thing with quartz. Five deaths at the moment. Um, wait, can I get up there via this chest? Is there anything in here? There's a chain helmet. I might take that. Do that... God damn it. Okay. Come on. I just want to quickly show you guys what he's in. No, that was never going to work, was it? Um, this is the last. Nope, that's failed. Okay. Come on, guys. Last last time. Going to be lucky this time. It's going to go over it. I just know it. Nope. Okay, landed on top. And there he is. He's got some chain armor. He's actually got some basic tools, basically. Um, actually, I just quickly cut over to him, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, I know this is going to be laggy because I've set him up at 10 FPS, just better that way. Um, this is basically his stuff here, and don't complain about the lag, it is actually the game set up like that at the moment. Shamus 2, Knockback 1, Flame 1, Unbreaking 3, Power 4, I've even got an Affinity version of this, um, which I found up in the chest, which is really weird because when I was enchanting my stuff um, previously for my, my other guy when I lost my bow unfortunately, um, I remember that I was looking, I was enchanting, I enchanted about 15, maybe 20 bows, and I finally got infinity at the end. And then suddenly I found one up in the chest, which was infinity, to where this is infinity 3, fortune 1, this is a really good uh, shell actually, with fortune 3. I got, I got another one of them I think, and another fortune 2 one. I'm breaking one axe, which is crap, and an ender pearls, cooked chicken, and some arrows. So that's basically it, and I'm going to jump back over to JJ now. Okay, guys, here we are. We got a freaking annoying zombie over here trying to tell me he's better than that he actually is. And there you can hear the pistons going, and it's actually collecting really well. And I need to eat because otherwise I'm going to end up falling in a gap and getting absolutely mauled by these zombies. I don't know how many there are. Oh no! Don't fall down. One over here, yeah, there we go. He's never going to despawn otherwise. Well, actually, I suppose he works it has to turn day sometime. But um, let me just quickly show you the loot, or the, the drops that we're getting from this. It's pretty good. As you already saw over at the uh, the sorting system, I've already got quite a bit. I might actually pick these up and show them in there. Just kind of helpful. And I've been having this weird glitch recently. It's like, I don't know how long it's been going on for. But for quite a while, you could say that basically. Let's just get that guy and that guy and that. That was a fail. There we go. Okay, there we go. I like getting these drops. It really helps out. And he needs to get the spider as well. Okay, the creeper. Did we kill him? Yeah, we did. Brilliant. Gunpowder. Nope. Um, and let's just get this guy, and then I think we're probably going to end it for this part here. I don't know what else we will do. We might go over to the wither farm um, and start getting some withers, and I could tell you what I am planning 
for, well, coming up basically. Um, or I could tell you guys now I suppose and then save something else for over at the Wither Farm. Basically what I want to do guys is for my 100 sub special. Basically if you guys have not realized I have, I, I hit 100 subs which I'm really happy about. It took me only the good part of like 8 months or something. Or, wait, 8? No, it, I think I had the, what, the beginning of March and I started the beginning of May last year. So that's what, 10 months, which to be honest isn't too bad. That's, ten, that's one sub every 3 days for the past, what, year kind of thing. Um, let's just trade with this guy a bit more. Um, which, to be honest, is not too bad. Um, that's, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, it's not, it's not that bad. It's, I think, I would say that's probably pretty average for most small YouTubers. Um, but of course some do suddenly get noticed and then, uh, are pretty lucky and get big. Like MC, he's been doing it for like, what, four months. He got noticed because of a tutorial that he did on Sugarcane Farm. Not Sugarcane Farm, no, 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 no. Oh, phew. Okay. I wasn't quite close enough, unfortunately. Um, what kind of farm was it? It was a melon farm. And he got noticed on that and ended up getting, well, he's now, what, 2,700 subs or something? Which is quite a few subs, in my opinion. This thing, actually, just quickly, oh, completely off topic, this thing, it's so annoying, it's broken whenever you have more than one villager in here. So I need to move my paper villager somewhere. I'm probably going to move him up to the base. I might put on top of there because originally I wanted to put this whole contraption up on the top of there. I might actually try and move him like via probably via the nether somehow. Might be a pain in the ass to do it via the nether. But I really want to move him up there and probably also the blacksmith and maybe also the priest depending on because at the moment I have actually been getting XP bottles off him. And his trade at the moment is a diamond sword. So I'll probably have to do that with some old sword. I actually thinking about it. Uh the only place I'm gonna get a diamond sword is over here, isn't it? And nope, okay, I can't get it. Brilliant. Okay, there we go. Need to trade some more with um with this guy. Get some things from this. No, how many oh, I got all of them, I take it. Good. And this guy. So yeah, um, Basically, some people like MC have been lucky and have been noticed, but it doesn't happen all too often, and most people have not very many subscribers. Um, this is taking ages to grow. I don't know if it's because of the glass and then it won't grow or something. I'm going to get some bone meal quickly. Oh no, didn't want that to happen. No, shut up. I need to put some stuff in here like that, that that, 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 I think that should be good enough, and that as well, I don't really need that either. Uh, let's just quickly bone mill this, see if that's going to help grow it. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, I've never seen that kind of tree before. Um, we probably should have taken a photo of the ice, uh, on the ice spikes, what am I trying to say? I need an axe, actually I've got an axe on me. Um, of the, oh, what did I want to say? Um, Squid farm. We should. Have, I don't know how I got ice spikes from that. Don't ask, guys. I have no clue. Uh, but we should have taken a photo of that. Later on, I'm probably gonna like replace like every single block here by um, hoppers when I get a load of iron. I'm planning on making an iron farm. Hopefully, sometime soon. Get a bunch of these villagers here and just uh, shove them in a ice in a ice. Why do I keep on saying ice? It's really annoying. <laughs> I meant um, shove them in a minecart and just move them over to oh god who knows where. I do need to get rid of this complete in, in oh why are they breeding? You shouldn't be breeding. I've got two villagers here. I hope. Yeah. Why the hell are you breeding? Okay, that's really weird. Okay, now we got the glowstone trade. They can get 13 trades, so I'm still uh still waiting. And I can make more books because I believe I've got. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, so this is basically what I've been doing the whole time. Wait until I get some ink sacks from just general spawns in the area or frickin' zombies. And th is that another one over there? It is. It is. It is. There we go. Did I? Oh, I didn't hit him. 
Come on, die. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, uh, 16 of them. Brilliant. And uh, nope, I, I'm so used to going down there to get to the um, to get to the storage. Uh, I am mumbling on, and I know that people have been unsubbing because I am a bit too dry in my videos, apparently, which I completely agree with. I just, I don't know how to spice them up, really. I try and do fun stuff and stuff like that, but it doesn't ever seem to work. And I, I think it's because I get too, I get off topic way too quickly, I think. Or at least, in my opinion, I do get off topic way too quickly. Um, let's just quickly get some paper. What have we got in here? Okay, nothing. Um, and then shove the rest of the sugar cane in the saucer. So, uh, yeah, for my 100 sub special, I am going to kill 100 withers. It is going to be a challenge. I don't know when I'm going to do it, guys. I might end up doing like one, kind of like, I don't know. I really don't know how I'm going to do it. But it will definitely take a while. And, um, yeah. So basically, Mr. A is now over slabbing the final parts of the, uh, the wither farm. Which is brilliant. I just can't wait until we got that done. Or he's got that done. I suppose I haven't done much work. I might have slabbed for like half an hour or something with him. But it's, it's really not that much work. Not, really not that much work. He's done a lot of it. Um, let's see. What do I, I yeah, I was going to trade. I'm trying to unlock this priest here. He's, Anything? Um, I'm breaking two now on a diamond axe. Mm, how I got an axe? That uh, no, I'm gonna have to get an axe from here. And how many? Uh, Fifteen emeralds should be enough. Damn it! No, and this isn't gonna be enough, is it? No, nope, so I'm gonna have to get one of them. I'm gonna have to go out of them. I'm gonna have to go and trade some more of these. So yeah, basically this is what I've been doing for the past ages. <laughs> Basically, um, get another stack of books here. Oh no, uh, emeralds! God, that would be pretty magical. Okay, egg. Get rid of the egg, and get rid of who knows what. Just shove that in there. Yeah. So basically, I have been making a whole load of copies of these, and you can actually do it differently. You can do it in here as well. It's a lot quicker. You can just literally shovel them all up here, and you just look. I'm literally putting all of them in here, and then you just get nine of them, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna make a cut here. Actually, probably no. I'm gonna end off the episode. I tell you, because I'm dragging on, and there's not much more that I am going to be able to do in this one episode. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.